It's a sport that stood the test of time for more than 2,000 years. A time-honored tradition dating back to the dawn of Chinese culture. And now dragon boat racing is emerging as the fastest growing amateur water sport in North America. Yeah! Actually, this is more fun than I've had in a long time. In Louisville, Kentucky, the home of the Kentucky Derby, teams from across the country converge each fall for the Louisville Dragon Boat Festival. It's been beautiful to see how this event has grown every year. This is our third year racing and we are over the moon to be part of this festival. We love Louisville! <laughs> Racers come from all walks of life. We are very excited to win the race. And they come to Louisville for many reasons. It's a wonderful day. And so many friendly people. We went on a bourbon trail tour and everything has been so lovely. The weather is perfect. We definitely like it and keep coming back. Louisville's dragon boat races are sanctioned by the Southeast Regional Dragon Boat Association. So racing here earns points towards qualification for nationals. It's a great event, a great venue for us to come out and check out every year. This is actually our third year here. We are racing to raise money for the Colon Cancer Prevention Project. Raising money for community causes is just one benefit of dragon boat racing. I'm having a lot of fun. It's also about fitness and team building. Dragon boat is a lot about unity. Um, it's good exercise. It's a way to get, get out and exercise and have fun. Um, but it's really a great team building sport. Building our team, making a stronger bond, getting parents involved with the kids. And for this group who traveled to Kentucky from Racine, Wisconsin, Dragon Boat Racing is also about survival. We are all breast cancer survivors who have worked hard to get to this point. All of us have had breast cancer. With an average age of 62 here. Pink paddling power! Initiation is a little tough, but we're here to support each other and have fun. It was once believed that breast cancer survivors should avoid repetitive activities for fear of developing lymphedema until a medical study using dragon boats in 1996 revealed that paddling actually improved physical, social, and emotional well-being after surgery. So that's why it became, you know, something that you wanted the breast cancer people to get into. Into it they are, healing and having fun all along the way. Another cause for the rise of dragon boat racing's popularity is that anyone can do it, regardless of athletic ability or skill level. An average person can do it, you can still win, and you can still feel good about yourself, and you still can have awesome people and awesome friends and have a great time. We practiced with people as old as in their 80s, and then we had kids that were as young as 12. It's a fun way for individuals to meet new friends. I'm originally from New Jersey and moved here a year ago and met all these lovely ladies. 20 paddlers and a pace setting drummer make up a full boat and most often the teams that win are not determined by overall strength. Instead it usually comes down to who works best together. One, two. Paddling together, all those paddles hitting the water together. Good. Wow. It's all about teamwork. We're a team at work and we're a team outside of work. That's what dragon boating is all about. In Louisville, the annual Dragon Boat Festival features five divisions of racing with cash prizes that go to the tops in each class. Yeah, baby! We're gonna take home the gold! <laughs> One just for local teams like the sweet and sour porkers from Louisville. It's a bunch of guys who like food and hang out, just friends. This is probably the event I look forward to on January 1st and wait all year for this one day. It's awesome. Teams from outside Louisville compete in their own traveling division, and they come from as far away as Wisconsin and Chicago. My team is TAP Chicago, Taiwanese American Professionals. I am um, with the Rashi, which is um, in Racine, Wisconsin. There's a scholastic division for students. They're trying to get high schoolers to come out and be productive. There's a women's division. Yeah, the all-girls team. The name of our team are the Dragon Aces. We're composed of a bunch of tennis players. When else in your lifetime are you going to get on a boat in the Ohio River with 20 of your closest friends to get splashed on and have a good time? And there's a division for charity teams who paddle to raise money for a cause. Raising money for the Colon Cancer Prevention Project. We're the Dino Mike oh. Premier Surgery Center team. We came in last, but it was a good last. <laughs> Loads of fun. <laughs>
In the days leading up to the event, Dragon Boat Racing experts conducted free training courses for participants, which was as much fun as it was educational. Everything else will fall into place. One, two. On race day, Dozens of teams went head to head in heat after heat with hearts and drums pounding. In sync with each other, fueled by support from the shore. And as winners were crowned in each category, it was undeniable that the energy these dragon boat racers and fans brought to the River City made everyone on the waterfront a winner. It was awesome. It was for sure. Champions left Louisville with medals, bragging rights, and cash. With a check of a thousand dollars, his premier surgery center. That is awesome. So this goes to the Colon Cancer Prevention Project. We are so proud. I love it. Others took home something even more valuable, a spirit of cooperation, culture, and lasting bonds built through the ultimate team sport. So much fun. This is so much fun.